Welcome to another exciting episode of Parts Creation with Inventor. We're going to do this part number two. So when we open up Inventor, we're going to go to the new. And this one is in metric, and we want to make it in millimeters. Hit create. We're going to start with our 2D sketch and hit the XY plane. To make it helpful, I'm going to hit my windows right and I'm going to bring up my plans and put the windows left button all right I'm going to use my line tool I'm going to do the front view the front view we'll call is this right here so with my line tool I'm going to draw a shape that looks similar to our front and then make sure that these dots are connected. I'm going to use some constraints, this perpendicular constraint, and make sure those are lined up, and they are, and make sure this one's lined up, and now it is, and now I'm going to use my dimensioning tool. I always try to do the longest dimension first, so this one is 60 millimeters, check mark or hit enter. I've gone off the page so I want to hit my front and now I'm going to do the dimension for this and it's 40. I'm going to hit my front again. Dimension this and it says it is 10. Going to dimension this and it says it's 25. I'm going to use my dimension tool and do this and it says it's 15 right here. All right, I think I have everything ready to go. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to hit my home button just so it backs out and you can see it kind of flipped it over. Um, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this and it is going to be 30 millimeters wide. Type in 30, hit the checkbox, and it's turned on me. So, I want to shape, so there's my front, I'm going to rotate it so that it looks very similar to, I'm just clicking the corners, very similar to how it looks on my picture here. I'm going to take the house and right click and set this as my home view. And now I'm going to work on this shape right here. So I'm going to simply left click on the side, create a new sketch, and project my geometry of this side that kind of outlines it for me. I'm going to take a rectangle and draw it, let's see, 15 millimeters. I'll hit the tab button to shift to my other one by 10 millimeters and hit enter. And now I want to make sure that I'm dimensioned from the bottom is 5 millimeters. So I click 5 and enter. And then I want to go from this left side, click left click, and then this left side of the square that I've created left click it, bring it down, and type 3 millimeters. I'm going to finish this sketch. I have this little rectangle created. Finish sketch. Extrude. 
and I want to click this, but you'll see it'll come towards us. We want to change the direction of that. And since it doesn't tell us how far it's going to go, we're going to send it all the way through by clicking the down arrow to next. And you can see it goes all the way through. Click OK. And we're all done. So I want you to save it by going to Save As. Go ahead and put it in your name folder. In this case, there's mine. I'm going to click it in my downloads folder for now. And this is called part two with your initials and click save. All right. For insurance reasons, we want to put this on our Google Drive. So we're going to go into our class period folder and our turn in folder and we're going to click the upload files and there's mine right there it's in my name file my downloads folder and then I'll hit open it'll take a second to go and the next place we want to put it is we want to turn it in so when since you're finished you'll go to schoolwork and you're looking for the part where it says upload part 2 and then you'll have it, uh, please upload it and click submit and you'll be all turned in. Thanks.